In the world of container deployment, developers have always faced a choice, either manage everything yourself with ECS on EC2, or give up some control with simplicity with Fargate. On the EC2 side, you might hear, sure, I can use any instance type I want, but I'm spending more time managing infrastructure than building applications. While on the Fargate side, the common refrain is, no infrastructure management is great, but try telling my ML team that they can't use GPUs. Well, today that changes. With ECS managed instances, we can now combine the best of both worlds. With this new solution, AWS handles all the infrastructure management. That means no more weekend maintenance windows for patching, no more late night scaling exercises, no more worrying about the security updates or instance maintenance. But here's where it gets interesting. While AWS manages the infrastructure, you keep control of what matters. Want specific instance types? You've got it. Need GPU instances for your ML workloads? They're available. Looking to use your reserve capacity? No problem. Need network optimization? It's all there. Let me show you how easy it is to get started. We'll walk through it step by step. First, I set up a cluster just like I've always done. If you've worked with ECS before, this should be familiar. I'm going to create a cluster named Single Digit Cluster using the AWS CLI. I deploy the cluster to my account. Next, I create a new Managed Instance Capacity Provider. Here's the configuration I'll use. First, I name our capacity provider Inference Capacity Provider and connect it to the single digit cluster I just created. The configuration includes two IAM roles, one that ECS uses to create and manage the compute resources for me, and another that gets attached to the compute instances themselves, allowing them to function as ECS container instances. You'll find detailed information about these roles and policies in our documentation linked in the description below. What's particularly interesting for my ML workload is the accelerator configuration. Notice I'm specifying an NVIDIA accelerator. This ensures my instance will have the GPU capabilities needed for inference tasks. With this configuration ready, I use the CLI to create the capacity provider. Looking at the ECS console, there's a new cluster with a managed instance capacity provider. Drilling down into the capacity provider and looking at the instance details, I see the accelerator count of one with type NVIDIA. Finally, I create a service to tie it all together. Looking at the service configuration, I'm creating a new service called Single Digit Inference Service and attaching it to the Single Digit Cluster. I give it the Single Digit Task Definition with the desired count of four and configure it to use my new managed instance capacity provider. I'll use the AWS CLI to create the service. Okay, back in the console, I can see the new service. Clicking into the service and looking at the tasks, I will soon see four tasks pending. After a quick refresh, I can now see them provisioning. Once the instances are running, I can then return to my cluster where I will see four container instances distributed across four availability zones for resilience. Scrolling over, we can see an accelerated instance type of G4. And that's it. Now we have a fully managed cluster that still gives us options. For your teams, this means DevOps can focus on applications instead of infrastructure management. Your finance team will love the ability to leverage reserved instances and optimize costs. Security teams get access to advanced tools and configurations. And developers, they get the compute resources they need when they need it. Think about it. Multitask instance support automatically optimizes your costs. Workload placement is handled intelligently. You get deep integration with AWS services. And for teams needing advanced monitoring capabilities, you can opt in to privileged Linux capabilities like eBPF programs for deep systems observability, all while maintaining AWS's managed security framework. All of this without managing a single instance yourself. This is ECS Managed Instances the power of choice with the simplicity of managed services. 
because you shouldn't have to choose between flexibility and ease of use. For more information about ECS Managed Instances, follow the links in the descriptions below and subscribe to this channel for more videos like this.